Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borg. Please hit subscribe down below to help us grow to 300 subscribers. But this is going to be on the Boston Bruins and their draft recap, who honestly had a damn good draft for not having a first-round pick because they lost that in the Hampus Lindholm trade. But they got Matthew Poitras, who has really good upside, was ranked 85th on uh, or in thereabouts on most boards. Uh, he needs a little bit more consistency. But he's a guy that has snarled to his game, so definitely fits with the Bruins. Had 50 points in 68 games for the Gulf Storm of the Ontario League. And he's somebody that was ranked 45th best North American skater entering the draft. So that seems like a good pick. I would have to give that pick, honestly, an A. Uh, when it comes to Cole Spicer, um, he was the guy, the Bruins swung a trade with the crack and to acquire excuse me, a fourth and fifth round pick of this year's draft and use the first of those two picks on the North Dakota native, Cole Spicer. Um, he's a speedy center, according to um, this report, um, this scouting report that I'm reading. He's a speedy center. Spicer put up 10 goals and 16 points in 26 games for the U.S. He's another guy from the U.S. National Development Team, which he played um, also in the U18 Worlds, and he was very good in the U18 Worlds. A lot of the guys in the U.S. National Development Team, I would agree with that scouting report. His best asset is his speed. But he also has the skill to go along with that speed. It's just he's probably one of those guys that he's had 12 goals and 20 points in 46 games. Give him a couple years, and he's going to be a stud with that speed that's going to be able to at least put up 55, 65 points for you in a season. I do think. So I think them getting Spicer, who's freaking lightning fast out there, that's at least a B pick. Poitras, I think, is an A pick. I think they did damn good for not having any first-round picks because if you have a B and an A, that's good. And then Dan's Locomelis, uh, he also did good for Lafia. So um, he plays in Sweden, but he hails from Lafia. And um, he's a guy that played good for Lafia overseas. He's played good in Sweden at a young age as well. Uh, you might as well take a bargain on him. Like, what? why not? So uh, he's a guy that they're going to see if he can develop at center. So I think he's a guy that stood out <clears throat> in the under-18s, so you might as well give him a chance. And then Reed Dick, the goaltending hasn't been talked up in this draft, but there are a couple solid guys. And Dick is definitely one of those guys that could add real value. They already have Jeremy Swayman, who's going to be a young guy that's, I think, going to be really good for them. And I think if Dick can develop in the next three, four years and he can become the backup to Sway, as Sway's then in his later 20s and a veteran kicking ass, they're going to be good there. Then when it comes to Edwards, he's raw. But a solid-looking talent. Brunette, same goes to him. So, if you can hit with one of those two, you're good. But I think with Poitras, Spicer, look, Mellis, you got a good chance of at least two of those three hitting. And then Dick has a good chance of being at least a third-string, very solid goaltender that could develop into that second-string, maybe like a Brousseau in his mid-20s. But I think that's at the very least, because he is one of the better goalies from this draft. So, peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I would give their overall... A lot of people gave them only a C, and I think that's because they got didn't have a first-round pick. Because they were able to get Poitras, Spicer, Lugmelis, and Dick is a very solid goaltender in my mind, I have to give them a B. I'm not going to give them an A. I don't think that they got an A for Poitras. They got a B for Spicer. Lugmelis, I would say, is like a B-minus pick. Um, and then Dick is a B-minus pick. So I would say they're an overall B. And the other two are just risk athletic guys for uh, Brunette and Edward, but a very role. So... I would give them a B. I think they've been graded low, but I think a C is not fair, and I think that's low by a lot of places. But I would give them a B because they took advantage of not having a first-round pick and got very good talent, a speedster. Poitras, who plays with some snarl, fits in well, a guy that's going to add some good speed and skill. And Spicer, like Melvis, who brings a solid two-way game that's also a good skater, and then Dick, who's a good goaltender. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please do subscribe down below to keep channel growing to the goal of 300.